Crucify me, torture me, cut my hands off, something, right? And consents to that. Are you saying it's okay? I don't agree with that. I think that should be questioned. No, I don't think that's so, okay. So, so it's not about consent then. So let's let, let, let's let. Do, do you think that animals? You're you're have not really animals. responding and engaging with the because, questions. Because so if you have, that I don't think is relevant to veganism. It's, it's very important. If you if it's you if the issues the okay. That I'm to convey. Are you saying the animals give consent? Right. So, is the issue about consent then? Personally, I think not personally. No way, objectively, there is no way for us to know whether animals consent. I mean, as someone who has been to a slaughterhouse myself and seen two thousand pigs killed in a emotional murder, argument again. Let's let's just stick to the point. I don't, do you, so do you Can you not be emotional way, and just let's discuss this on an intellectual a level? Way to take away the life of an animal that wants you see, to live. you're again coming bringing up some. The red herrings and strawmans. Let's deal I'm with the talking, subject matter. I'm talking about veganism. I'm, I'm talking about, about I'm talking about your objection to consuming meat because what it is, you are actually making those animals that you are trying to consume suffer pain. Right. So, are you saying if an animal were to consent, were to consent, it's okay? Is that what you're saying? So the issue is not about consent then. Good. That we're talking about taking away the lives of non-human animals that do not have the ability to consent. Okay. You know, have you stopped all the lions eating the zebras? Lives. Okay. If you see a gazelle running mm -hmm. down the street, is your instinct to run after it and tear into its flesh with your belly? Do you hear my question? Is is that your instinct? No. My instinct no, is for you to respond that when you see a lion running after a deer or a zebra. Are you stopping that? And no, would you stop because it? Because they are obligate carnivores. They do it out of necessity to survive. Okay, good, we good, good, good. Now we're moving on. So, so your question, so your argument for veganism. In order for our own benefit. Let's understand that. So your argument for veganism is as long as it's for necessity, it's okay. Yes. If it's not necessity, if it's out of necessity, no. yes, it's okay. We do you can we eat, for example, if there's no plant products yes. and there's only chicken, yes. then yeah, out of necessity, you should eat yes. chicken. Yes. Yeah. I'm completely fine with that. Right. Is that what you what, what you say? Yeah. So actually, so actually, so actually, you're not actually saying everyone should be a vegan as long as you don't, as long as, as long as you don't suffer the animal, you don't just you know eat out of luxury yeah for good taste you're saying it's okay to be a carnivore I think that if we're doing it out of necessity, now, this is the only reason, my friend. Yeah. This sign issue. is the only reason. Yeah. Okay, right. you're hmm? overcomplicating it. Yeah. So actually, I don't have a problem with that. In fact, I would say people are actually harming and suffering the animals too much, and that needs to stop. Yeah. Not only during transportation, not only during raising them and breeding them. So why there's are too we much. Doing it? Wait a second. Let's deal with the real issue. So now, this is what we're talking about. We're talking about people are actually suffering causing the animals to suffer so why don't you go one step further and say look plants also feel pain because they respond to painless pain stimulus so why you stop why don't you stop eating plants again again there has been already Nobel prizes won on this issue by mr. Boshu right that animals just like plants Plants. Do you realize that 80% of the crops that we go, go that we grow go towards feeding livestock? So we're killing, see, see, we're killing more you're, you're, you're actually dealing with something that... Look, look, let's talk about the understanding of veganism and carnivorism and so on. Carnival, whatever, right. So veganism, is it linked with some kind of belief system? It's the belief that these animals are not here okay. on this planet for us to or exploit unnecessarily, right? right? Did God, yeah. did God intend yeah. us to be vegans? So you're not sacrificing anything by going vegan. You're just not taking what was never okay. yours to begin with. Now I want to know whether this is actually linked to an, I an ideology. Has God created human beings to be vegans? I don't believe in God myself. So it seems like every vegans I'm speaking to, they have an ideology of not believing in God. So it's actually linked to a belief 
in the non-existence of a God, right? isn't it? So veganism no, seems no, no, to be... No, no, okay, hang on. Are you a vegan? Uh, yeah, Do you believe in God? No. Right, so yeah, two, two vegans. Yeah, uh, any other vegans who believes in God? Right, so now we are actually coming to a point where veganism seems to be a particular ideology now in this time, driven by atheism, agnosticism. So, hang on, hang on. Why is it that I don't see any believer in God among you? I want to, then, I will, then I will make some arguments after that. Religion has no bearing in the argument against animal use I, and I just established that there seems to be a link already. Any other vegans here who I, believe in God? I know, I know. I know. I know. Sorry? I believe in it to go and create. Are you a vegan? Yeah. Good. So if your God tells you to eat animals, would you do so? God doesn't tell me to eat animals. <laughs> oh. So, which God is that that tells you not to eat animals? Which God tells you to eat animals? No, no, you're... It's about consciousness. Wait, 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 wait. So you say you believe in a God. In... Where has your... Divine creator. Wait a minute. A Where has your divine creator communicated with you that... You see, speak about flat earth. You argue what, about what, One moment. Never read her argument. Flat earth. What does banana and flat earth have to do with veganism here? Don't so my friend, sister, one second, one second. Because now you made a point that you are actually believing that divine creator, where your divine creator has mentioned to you that you should stop eating animals. You should know. You should know with your consciousness. I'm asking you. So where has he mentioned that? There's no mention, you should understand. So, you have, so it's your own made up have belief. Seen, have you not seen an animal cry because it loses Enough said. Child? Any other vegans who believe in God? Are you vegan? Hmm? Are you vegan? No, I am not vegan, Why but I can be. Why aren't you vegan? Okay, I'll tell you why I'm not a vegan. Even though I'm against animal suffering, yep. even though I'm against all this overproduction of food and so on and so forth, yeah. you know, you don't have to eat animals. You can actually have all the proteins, as I mentioned to you, from plant-based. But why I'm not vegan is because I am not designed to be a vegan. Look at your teeth. You've got teeth designed to chew meat. You've got enzymes in your stomach designed to what? Digest animal proteins. So in your body, even from biology, you are not designed to be a herbivore. Uh, hold on, I want to take one second. But, um, do you not believe we can live perfectly healthy lives living off plants? Um, let's go back to the question again. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. My question has bearing within the, what uh, no. you just brought up. You seem to think veganism, veganism, veganism. I'm not shouting, I'm making everyone to hear. Can everyone hear? Good, thank you. Is veganism something that is of choice? Then you can be a vegan by your choice, or you don't have to be vegan by your choice. It's a moral do I have the choice? It's a moral, hang on, hang on. moral. It's when it comes to when it comes to morality, yeah. do you believe in objective morality? No. Then what's the point? You're talking from a relative moral standpoint. I may have a higher moral standard than you if I believe in an objective morality. Well, we have a, like, as a society, we have an overall basis. We know it's wrong to rape, we know it's wrong to steal, we know it's wrong to murder, right? So now we can pass that down onto sentient creatures that are do causing us no harm. Why would we murder, torture and enslave them when we don't need to? We don't need to be eating them, we don't need to be using them, we don't need to be testing them. They're not for our entertainment, I'm not enjoying, I'm still talking. Yeah, sure. Let him talk. Right? They're living creatures. We, why are we, why are you so arrogant that you can think you can just arbitrarily take their life away from them when they're causing you no harm. Like you do not need to eat them. You can live perfectly healthy lives living off plants. That is the end of the argument. There's no there's no argument against veganism. I don't even know why you're bothering. <laughs> Let's see. That really that really shows you the level of intellectual argumentation that you're bringing in the discussion. The only honest argument against veganism is that if you don't give a shit. Right. So that speaks of your intellectual argumentation level. Never mind. So my point my point is this. So basically, you are against those people who take the lives of animals. Unnecessarily. Unnecessarily. And animals, they take the life of another animal because of necessity. Yeah. yeah. So 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 now you can look at your argument. If you take the life of another animal out of necessity, you're saying I don't have a problem with that. I can't, I can't, I can't control wild... No, 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 no. Wild. If human beings live yeah, on animal meat out of necessity, yeah. you're saying you don't have a problem with that. No, I mean, I'd prefer that they move. Because no, 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 I saw prefer. Your argument now has totally crumbled. 
I don't understand how your argument was in the first place. If if you're saying if you're saying it's all about necessity. If someone if someone eats animal out of necessity, you're saying it's okay. Wait a moment. Excuse me. Excuse me. I want to understand the question argument again. If if someone consumes meat out of necessity, why is that okay? Some people Why is that okay? You're still taking life of another animal. Life of another sentient being according to your definition. Life of another animal which feels and experiences pain. Why? Would you would you happy? Can you ask again? The question is it called the if you are willing to accept the eating of animals out of necessity by human beings, then by extension you should be willing to accept the eating of human beings by human beings. Out of necessity. Yeah, if there's no necessity. But I'm not controlled. Those are what those random people in this are, you know, made up scenario. This is all about what you made up now. scenario. This is here and now. This is about what you can do no, no, right no, no. here, right now. It's not now. here now. Let me now, now I'll interject. Yes. Oh so, allow me. No, I understand your question. No, I've, I'm going past that question now. I, I, I saw how far you understood it. No, so no, I'm, going well, past I'm asking you a question now. Doesn't it go back and forth? Why can't well, I, I can ask, ask the question? Ask. Why are you just like, jumping in when I'm trying to explain something? I don't need to ask him. Yeah, I don't want to take his job. No, no, I want to hear what you have vegan? to say. Why aren't you vegan right here, right now? I've already answered. I would like to hear your point. Excuse me. Excuse me. I've already said, I would like to hear your point. You don't want to speak to me. I don't need to speak to you. No, no, you can speak to me. I would like to hear, and I'm sure everyone else is interested. What do you want to say? Well, the point, of, there are a couple of points. One is, of course, that is established now from what you have been said. A, that you don't think that it's compulsory to eat meat. What you are, the point you appear to be making is, and I, I would agree with that, that if meat is required, the A, that we are biologically built to eat meat and it's not kind of something that is against our biology. The B, that if it's required out of necessity, you should eat it. And Therefore, you do not kind of call yourself a vegan, right? That's basically your argument, right? Because you are not, they are, you, and your, I, I, your point appears to be that they are being inconsistent in insist, insisting on applying a relative morality, which is clearly relative to a circumstance, relative to circumstance, as a general principle, right? That's, that's basically it. And I agree, you are, you are pretending that there is a general principle, when you don't have a general principle, you have a principle that is only applicable in these current specific circumstances where in a rich society, people you know, with, with the kind of resources that this society has, people are able to survive without veganism. There are, the history of mankind is such that they could not survive like this. In a few years time, if supposing we have a, a downturn in, uh, you know, uh, in the civilization, if the civilization collapses, people will have to become non-vegan. Uh, veganism, the ability to survive on veganism, the, the veganism depends on a certain level of knowledge of what to eat and what not to eat, much greater than yeah. non-veganism does. How, Google's really good with that. Just no, ask no, Google. No, it requires. So it requires. Yeah, yeah, precisely. It requires the existence. It requires, the existence, of, it out, requires the existence of Google. That's exactly the point I was making. It requires the information. Yeah, it's easy. We can all access that. No, no, no. Understand one further point. Veganism is. No one is arguing that veganism is bad. It is the insistence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be a psychopath to be arguing that it's bad. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm just looking at the level of argumentation here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't argue against Calm down, calm down. So, calm down. Who's raising his voice <laughs> Okay, so. The, the, a, your argument in general, as I said. B, you're insisting on it as a, as a general principle. C, no one here is arguing that veganism is bad. Yeah. All you're arguing is that you don't insist on it as a general principle. Well, it, it's down to your own. I mean, are you, against, are you against animal cruelty? Yes, you said yes, that. There you go, that's he it. That. That's, 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 that's that. all veganism is. We, no, it's when not. We that's can not live, not no, hold on, I'm that's still talking. Course. When we can live in a world, like right here, right now in London, we've got abundance of uh, products we can buy that don't contain animal products, that, that don't contain suffering, torture, murder, right? And we can buy them, we can live them, we can live healthy lives, healthy lives, living off that. So therefore, it's our moral obligation to choose those and products that derive from enslavement, exploitation, use and murder for a completely unnecessary reason. That is it, you're overcomplicating the matter. Cool. So now may I say that? everything you said I agree with. So he agrees. 
I'm pretty sure. If food that is derived from exploitation unnecessarily, food that is not derived from murder, be it, be it animal or be it, be it non animal, okay, derived from exploitation, slavery, murder, should not be eaten. It should be, it should be, it should be. Yeah. Now, the point still remains. You are, veganism is more than that. Vegan is about an ideological stance which says that in no circumstances, except a very circumstance, should we eat anything other than vegetables. We should not eat meat. This is, this is your, you know, you're putting ideology when ideology is not required. All you require is simple, basic morality. I, we agree with the morality. You understand? We just you're putting. Okay. Guys, guys, okay. Guys, guys, okay. Guys, guys, okay. So if I can't do me one on one, it's what can you do right here, right now? When you go no, to a right supermarket, right. when you buy these products, you're promoting this thing. I fully understand. Don't need to. I so, forget so, so you. Let me tell you where I come from. So you understand that. Uh, I think <laughs> the modern methods of farming are utterly destructive of the economy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think modern methods of economy yeah. are utterly destructive yeah. of the way that we can live. Yeah. I fully agree with yeah. that. All right. Yeah. I, you know, we, we don't have to agree on that. It doesn't matter. Yeah. The point is that the basic principles are the same. Yeah. You, are, you do not need to presume that I am on the other side of that just because I disagree mm. that with your insistence on veganism as an ideology to be imposed on everybody. Instead, human history cannot could not have existed yeah. without. We could not have got here yeah, yeah. without being yes, eating right, animal yeah, protein. Yeah. Can I just? Can I just? Oh, okay. Um, you know, it's different here. The way I talk to the public is a lot different to the way I actually sure, talk and speak. Sure. It's gone. You know, it's a bit more, sure. you know, you no shout problem. and... No right, so it's, it's down, it's, <laughs> it's what down, yeah, down to what we can do, what we can do individually. We all have to take responsibility for our own individual actions. We can't pass off what would happen if we're in a desert island, what would happen if this situation, no, no. what happens with the Eskimos and, you know, what do the, the lions do in nature? It's down to what we can do as individuals. We are destroying our yeah, planet. We are Destroying no, no, we are destroying no, our environment okay, and our agriculture. This is not consistent yeah, with what no, you're just saying. No, but it's just my way of engaging the conversation. Well, no, that's not just, yeah, <laughs> Why? Well, that's but that is the only honest in argument. Us? In this no, it's right, not. That's in not. Our, in, with the okay. talk people I'll be talking to right here, right now. That is the only One further argument. point on this. You mentioned about moral obligation. So do I assume that you are really propagating against any product that comes from occupied territories like in West Bank and other places where Israel actually has occupied to, yeah. yeah so all the vegans those who support this ideology or moral obligation to that you are actually with the Palestinians well, what are you on about? excuse me well, I'm with the Palestinians. because they're enslaved, because because they're enslaved. They're enslaved. They're enslaved. Yep. and and in their territory which has been that. occupied yeah. But they are the they're making products and, and, and they're selling in, in, in shops okay, you don't see that. where yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're buying them so you're basically you are now also like googling and finding out which of the Israeli products yeah. you should boycott that comes from occupied territories I will. right I will. I will. Yeah. Cool. Yeah? I will. that's cool yeah. so that is, that means you are consistent with that? your yes, so, moral obligation so, so, so once you become vegan your sphere of um, compassion extends so I'm starting to buy less plastic buy bamboo toothbrushes you know trying to be less environmentally destructive because that's a, veganism is just the start yeah. and you start yeah. thinking about I more I cycle everywhere except you know, like, I yeah. cycle everywhere we I'm green yeah, we can all do we can all do our bit but the biggest impact that you can have both on the animals and the environment is veganism well and then, uh, uh, actually no actually actually if you become a muslim then you will see the greatest impact the biggest impact then you will be what no to any racism no to any kind of differentiation no to, economic no to yep no to you know un, you know unjustified Warfare yeah. on people, killing them, pillaging them, and so on and so forth. But you can do no to no to no to destruction of even. Uh, no, 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 no. When you say when you say when you become a vegan, I'm saying Islam provides you even a better solution for your standpoint and gives you necessarily yes. Allow me to explain. Okay. What's your name? Mark. Mark. All right. Put it there. Right. Now, there's a difficulty with your argument, all right? So you say that without religion, or without, basically, I'll use slightly different terminology, without shared ideology, without so largely, in fact, imposed ideology, you can achieve this, all right? You cannot. Uh, so I'll give an example. I'm walking down the street, and a little old, old lady is walking down the other way. I'm walking on the footpath, a little old lady is walking towards me. I'm a nasty bastard. 
um, hefty and nasty compared to her. And she, and she, she's a tiny little old lady hobbling along. And I get upset with her walking to blocking my path. And I push her out. Know? You are a nice guy. You're walking past. You get very angry with her. You say, why did you? She falls down. Okay? Yep. You are a nice guy. You say to me, why did you do that? Don't you see the little old, the lady was hobbling along and you, are, you could easily have got out of the way. Why did you push your way through? I say, well, she, should have, she can't. She can't walk properly. It's her affair. I have a right to walk here. You get even angry, you get upset with me, and you say, I'm going to stop you. And you get very angry with me, and you beat me up. Okay? I say, okay, you're going to beat me up. This is my neighborhood. I'm going to bring my friend, and I'm going to beat you up. And so next day we meet, and you'll bring your friend, I'll bring my friend, and we have a war. Next we go for the big army, right? And it escalates, and we get bigger, and that is the way the world is going. You want to fly fast? Yeah, but that's because it's love. Love, love by fate. No, the fact, the fact is... But what's that got to do with religion and veganism? I don't understand either where it's going. What you're saying is that, what the very point is, that you're saying that you've got an ideology, you've got an idea. It's not an idea. Well, it's a moral basis. I mean, it was an idea to have like slaves at some point. It's a good idea. I'm not saying it's a bad idea. It's catching on, basically, anyway.